Hello, my name is Kieran Ritchie and welcome to the Power IK ground alignment tutorial. So in this video we're going to take a look at how to make the Unreal Mannequin uh, conform to uneven terrain. So you can see here no matter what slope he's on, his feet are always going to remain completely flat. So there's no, no ground alignment in Unreal by default. Um, same with stairs, he's going to be kind of floating off the stairs. Um, doesn't look too hot on slopes with those floating feet. So we're going to use Power IK to quickly and easily um, get rid of that issue. Okay, so I'm going to hit stop. We're going to jump into his animation blueprint. And it's really important to think about where you're putting the ground alignment node. So we could stick it right here, right before the final pose is output. But you don't want ground alignment uh, taking place while the character is in the air. So in the case of the third person mannequin here, he's been set up with a state called idle run, which pretty much encapsulates all of his behavior while he's on the ground. Um, and then he has these jump states where he's in the air. So we don't want Power AK pulling the character back onto the ground while he's supposed to be in the air. So we're actually just going to put the ground node in his grounded state here where he's in idling and running. Um, so his, this state's very simple. He has a little blend space. This could, of course, include any arbitrarily complicated uh, system that you want. But really what you want is while the character's on the ground, after the final grounded pose has been generated and before its output, this is where you want to stick a Power IK ground node. Okay, so I'm just going to make a little bit of space here. Uh, right click and type Power IK. And we're not going to select the solver, we're going to select the ground node. So the ground node kind of encapsulates the solver and, and uh, takes care of all the ray casting for you, um, all the things that you need uh, just for ground alignment. Okay, so by default it comes in with a character root set to pelvis which in the case of the Unreal Mannequin is the bone we want. So you want to select that control, uh, sorry, that bone that controls the top level of the character. Okay, so this is uh, usually named like pelvis or hips or something like that. And if we select the, the Power IK ground node, you'll see this foot array or feet array, okay? So we need to add two to that. So I'm gonna click twice on there. I'm gonna uncheck expose because we don't want, we don't really need to use uh, pins for this. And then we can see these uh, these two feet array uh, members right here. So I'm gonna pop those open. Um, you don't usually have to mess with these uh, values too much. They kind of come in with good default values. Uh, all you really do need to specify is the bone name. So we're gonna pop back to the skeleton to find those bone names. And I'm gonna run uh, the power IK on the feet. So foot underscore R and foot underscore L, okay? You can right click also and copy those names and you can paste that right in there. So foot L and foot R. We're gonna hit compile. And now after compiling, you should see these yellow diamonds on top of the uh, foot locations. If you don't see the yellow diamonds, do check the output log. Make sure there's no errors here related to a misspelling of the bones. Um, the yellow diamond indicates that the solver has found the bone and it's uh, set up correctly. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit play and see how we're looking now. Okay, so the first thing you're noticing is, of course, that our character has floated up into outer space. So um, by default, the raycasts that are going to be finding the ground location will collide with anything, including the character capsule. So in this case, he's kind of just walking on top of his capsule. You can see the shadow there. So we're going to stop here, go back into that Power IK ground node, I'm going to close the feet section and we're going to look for ground settings. Under here, we're looking for ground collision and I'm going to set this to a custom collision channel which I've created called IK Trace. And I'm just going to take one moment here to talk about uh, this collision channel and what I've set up on it. So if you go under uh, your project settings, under edit, project settings, go to collision you'll see trace channel. So you need to click new trace channel. I've already done that. I've called it IK trace. And then you need to um, make sure that that trace channel is set to ignore two things by default. So you need it to ignore pawns and character meshes. Okay, so if you pop that open, you'll see that it's set to ignore IK trace channels on both character meshes and pawns. Okay. Now that we've set that, as our collision channel on the Power IK ground node. Hit save, go back here, hit play, and our character is no longer trying to walk on top of its capsule. And it's already uh, starting to conform to the ground. 
Um, so in cases where the character goes off a ledge, he's going to transition out of that idle run state and into the falling state. And so you can see that it no longer tries to pull him onto the ground. Um, but we are getting kind of some issues there where you can see he kind of goes under the ground a little bit. His feet are sinking into the ground. So we can start to sort of fix up some of these things. So I'm going to jump back into uh, the ground node. Um, I'm going to take a look at the feet delta smooth speed. So that's the speed that the feet will uh, adapt to the underlying terrain. So I'm going to turn that up to 300. That should prevent you from uh, dunking into the ground. And then we're, we're also going to take a look, uh, our collision settings are all right now. We're going to take a look at the, the slope settings, okay? So there's a lot of stuff going on in here. You'll need to be checking the documentation. Uh, to get a full description of everything that's going on here. But it's essentially broken into sections where you can choose to scale the stride of the character, um, to have the character lean into and out, out of uh, up, uphill and downhills. Um, you can have a counter lean bone. So this is like in the, in the case of uh, bipeds. You know, if they're going downhill, they'll typically tilt their head down to look down the hill and vice versa. That's what counter leaning means. Um, you can also move the root, the root uh, of the character up and down depending on the, whether they're going up or down a hill or on the side hill. Um, in this case, what we're going to do is rotate the foot to the ground and I'm going to offset the feet a little bit to get them out of the ground. So I'm going to hit compile, go back here. And now when we stand on, on the hill, you can see our feet are conforming to it and that offset has, has pushed uh, those feet out of the ground. Um, so that's just a static offset that you'll, you will have to kind of noodle a little bit. Um, right now it's set to four centimeters. If we set that to zero, hit compile, and go back, you'll see his foot is now sinking back into the ground a little bit. I found that for the mannequin, the default setting of four uh, tends to be enough to kind of get a good result. Um, when it comes to uh, the rotation, you have separate control over the pitch and roll, where pitch is sort of um, in the direction of the hill and, and roll is sideways. I find that uh, a value reducing the roll helps prevent the feet from kind of looking like the ankles are breaking. But there you can see now he's uh, fully uh, conforming to the to the uneven terrain, um, and it works just fine on moving collision as well. So from here you could go back into that ground solver node, start playing with the uh, leaning settings and getting a good result. Um, there's nothing that prevents this ground node from working with uh, quadrupeds or even spiders, um, any number of limbs. You just keep adding to that list of feet and let PowerIK kind of take care of how to move the, the whole character to conform to the underlying terrain. So the key features here are filling out your, your foot array with the, with the correct name of the bone, make sure your character root is correct, Check that delta smooth speed to keep the feet conforming to the terrain quickly enough so that they don't sink into it. Uh, go ahead and play with these lean settings if you're feeling fancy. And do make sure that you set that collision channel uh, to something appropriate, something that is blocking or is not, uh, that's ignoring the uh, character capsule. So that's all there is to set up uh, the PowerIK ground node. Thanks for watching and have a good one.